Cambridge police tell me that Gregory Hirsch admitted to them that he overreacted on Sunday, slamming his foot into the back and side of a woman who had accidentally hit him with her bike. You know, sadly, it doesn't surprise me that these sort of things happen. Keegan Crick commutes to MIT each day, crossing over Dana and Broadway. I would say that this is actually probably one of the quieter streets that I bike on. I mean, like, going down Mass Ave is, is a, you know, that that's a whole nother story. But on Sunday, just before 4 p.m., Cambridge police say 65-year-old Gregory Hirsch was walking here when a cyclist approached. While they were making that turn, there was a pedestrian nearby. They didn't see the pedestrian until the last second. Tried to avert the pedestrian with their bicycle. The collision threw her off of her bike, and that's when police say Hirsch began kicking the rider. Crazy? I mean, uh, yeah. I wouldn't expect that to happen. Julie Dunn has seen her fair share of near misses, be it a pedestrian and cyclist or vehicles, enough to keep her bike parked in her apartment. Two summers ago, I uh, forced myself to ride my bike to work yeah. for two weeks, and it was really scary, so never again. Hirsch was arraigned on assault and battery with a deadly weapon for using his foot to strike the cyclist. Police say the incident is a lesson in keeping composure. Crick feels it's also a reminder to simply be aware of others. I think that there's every road user has to be responsible, and I think that there's, you know, I think drivers have to be cognizant. I think pedestrians need to be cognizant, and, you know, likewise, cyclists have to be cognizant. We attempted multiple times to reach Hirsch, but were unsuccessful. In Cambridge, Evan White, Boston 25 News.